All around the world, people breed sheep. Their meat, milk and cheese are rich in vitamins and proteins and are much appreciated in people's diet. Their skin is used for many purposes such as blankets, rugs and clothing. But sheep in poor condition can easily get diseases such as pest de petit homino, also known as sheep and goat plague, pasturulosis and parasites. A sick sheep does not grow fast and will sell at a low price because it is thin and the meat will be of poor quality. Good monitoring helps you to detect any diseases early and treat your animals quickly. We rear animal to earn money. So if we take care of the animals, they will grow fast and fetch a good price at market. Because people want sheep that are well fed. During celebrations, we can also kill sheep for meat. Eating healthy meat helps prevent diseases in the family. Let's learn how to keep our sheep healthy. A clean, ventilated and dry shelter allows sheep to rest well, feel good and help prevent infectious disease caused by droppings that contain worms. Worms that live in droppings on the ground can infect sheep while they are resting. Sweep the shelter every morning with a broom to keep it clean. You can use the sheep droppings as organic manure in your fields. Make sure to feed your sheep well as a poorly fed sheep become vulnerable to disease. Clean feeders to prevent disease. Feed each lamb and pregnant ewe a handful of high protein food supplement every day, such as cotton seed cake or grain husks. You can also feed them crop residues of groundnut or cowpea. Clean water helps keep sheep healthy and increase milk output in lactating females. In Mali, farmers usually use half-large plastic drums to provide drinking water to their sheep on their farm. Never leave water troughs empty as lack of water can cause constipation in sheep. Wash water troughs every second day to keep them clean and prevent infection and most importantly, try not to let your sheep drink water from unclean sources. Sheep transmit diseases to one another while grazing and at water points. For example, if a sick sheep with a runny nose drinks water at a water point, its nasal discharge can get into that water. If you let your healthy sheep drink the same water, they will get this disease. If you have many sheep, allow a drinking trough for each group of five or per female mother. This helps prevent the animals from pushing each other. Some diseases such as PPR and pasturulosis are mainly transmitted through inhalation and contaminated drinking water. These diseases can quickly decimate an entire flock, so they require strict monitoring and precautions. Check your animals every morning for signs of infection, such as diarrhea, caught in poor condition, 
nasal discharge, and repeated coughing. In case you detect any of these signs, isolate the sick animal and immediately seek veterinary help, or you could lose your entire flock. Avoid grazing your sheep with other people's animals, as PPR and pasteurilosis can be transmitted quickly through inhalation when in case of close contact with infected animals. We control our sheep's movement first to avoid grazing in other people's field. Secondly, to prevent any stealing. And thirdly, to prevent diseases. Because diseases are easily transmitted through contact. So if we control our sheep well while they graze, they will not be infected. To prevent the introduction of disease and the contamination of the whole flock by an imported animal, do not immediately put it with the flock. Isolate the imported animal for 10 to 15 days without any contact with the other animals. <laughs> Usually, we do not know where the imported sheep came from and their health status. To prevent diseases, I isolate the animal for one to two weeks to observe it. The isolation time allows me to understand the animal's health status. If the animal shows signs of disease, I call the vet to treat it. If it is healthy, I add it to my flock. You can also protect your sheep from these diseases by vaccinating them. Vaccines prevent diseases from developing in case of outbreaks. External parasites such as ticks, lice and mites can also cause serious problems in sheep. Treat your sheep every three months to prevent an attack by parasites. Ticks usually stick to the ears, between the legs, and between the hooves, and suck the sheep's blood, which causes irritation and bleeding. Prick the ticks with a needle to kill them, and they will fall off by themselves. But do not pull them out as this can cause injury and infection in the animal. The reason why I do not pull the ticks out is that this can cause bleeding and end up with infection. If the ticks are on the legs, the animal will have trouble walking. If they are on the udders, the udders can be infected. This is why we cut them with a razor blade or prick them with a needle. This way, they will die by themselves and fall off. Organic farmers apply plant oils like neem or lemongrass to the ticks. This suffocates the ticks so they let go and fall off. Others apply dips or sprays to sheep to control the parasites. Lice and mites cause cabbies and make sheep rub themselves against solid objects that can injure them. Use the same treatment for lice and mites that you use for ticks. Every morning when I wake up, I check my sheep. If I see a parasite on one of them, I treat all of them so that the other sheep will not get infected. <laughs> 
to know the cost of production related to your sheep and ensure good monitoring of their health. Make a monthly assessment of the cost of production of each animal. To do this, record in a notebook the dates of treatments and the amounts of food supplement given to the sheep. Let's review what we have learned. Maintain the sheep shelter well to make the sheep comfortable and prevent infections caused by worms contained in the droppings. Feed your sheep with healthy food to prevent any disease or infection. Clean feeders and drinking troughs regularly. Control where your sheep go to prevent contamination by other animals. Inspect your sheep every day for signs of disease so you can treat them promptly. Vaccinate your sheep to prevent PPR and pasteurilosis as this can quickly decimate your entire flock. Treat your sheep every three months to prevent any attack by ticks, lice and mites that can cause infection in sheep. By taking good care of your sheep, you will keep diseases away and you will earn money.